What's up guys, today I decided to make a very exciting announcement today and that very exciting announcement is, is that I have a new career. I decided to change my career from becoming a YouTuber into a magician. So I've got this like magician like bargain store magic trick things today so I thought you know what, I'll make a video where I test a bunch of these magic products because I thought they were quite good so yeah. Obviously I'm not going to change my career into, into a magician but I thought I would try these out today and if they go well then I might become a magician, who knows. If you're excited for this video guys, you'll see the next video, don't forget to watch video for the next time and if you're excited for this video, let's get into this video. Alrighty y'all, let's get started. Let's get started. So I've got four of these magic boxes which I'm going to try out today, so let's go through them all. First one that I want to try, the magic tricks rope cutter thing. I'm not sure if these are supposed to do with this, but I think you're supposed to like make it so it cuts like through the rope so it doesn't like get stuck. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do with this, but I think you're supposed to like make it so it cuts a rope, so this is very interesting. Let's go try it out. Alrighty, so this is a great angle of me. <laughs> I couldn't actually find like a table or something to do this on, so I'm having to do this on the floor, so you get this very wonderful angle of me, so I hope you like it. So, first you're supposed to show the rope cutter to your spectators and pull the rope a short distance to one side. Well, I don't have any spectators or audiences right now, so I'm going to have to show this to myself. Right, so I've got this like, rope cutter thing here, and basically you pull the rope a short distance to one side. So I'm guessing you get this rope, and then what do you do? So do you just like pull it through like this? So I'm guessing you like pull it through like so. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. Show your spectators that the rope is actually in one place. It says here it's like thread it through the thing. This is very confusing. I'm gonna try and thread this through and then see what happens next. It's threading. Oh, there we go. We got the rope is threaded through. Okay, so the rope's coming out this side now, so. Yeah, okay, so you've got like all the ropes here which you've managed to thread through. Pull the box so your audience can see it well and slice it open quickly. Okay, so we've got this for here right now, so it says here to slice it open quickly. Alright, so there we go. And then ta-da! Magic. Let's try it again, so I'll you just thread it through like so this is actually the hardest part, it's like you're trying to thread the rope through this, these little holes, but there we go. And then, you just do this, and it looks like you've cut a rope open and you just close it quickly. Abracadabra, look at that. So yeah, I generally think that was quite a good product, to be honest, so it's actually not bad, it's actually not hard to do. So I guess anybody can be a magician now, if you buy all this from the bargain store. What a great life I live. Next up, the floating match. Now I'm guessing there's supposed to be a floating match as it, go, as it says in the picture here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's supposed to be like a floating match which floats on a mat, so that sounds very interesting, so let's try it out. Okay, can we just talk about this camera angle for a second, like what is going on, I have to take crooked camera angle, this bowl here, and the, it's not a cute time, but anyway, I got this floating match thing, so let's see how that works. Okay, I'm trying to open this packaging, but this tape is definitely not having it. Why did I decide to pack this box with such tight glued tape? Like, what is there to fall out? Like, what? Okay, so this floating match is supposed to like float, so hopefully it does float, or else I'm gonna be mad. Alright, so this is what it comes with. So you get this like sheet thing, then let me get like a match. So, alright, yeah. Okay, so you hold the cards face down, so. I'm guessing this, this card here is supposed to hold face stuff on. And then, here's what the magic happens. Squeeze thumb and fingers slightly to cause cards to bend back downwards. The invisible strings will cause the match to hover above the cards. So, you're supposed to do this. Okay, so you're supposed to squeeze this together. So that's what I'm doing right now. Nothing. Well, I can see what happens now. So basically, you put this match on this string, like so. Like so, and then you just do this. Bend it downwards, I think. What do you do? Some of the strings that like, you don't bend, for example, like... Some of the strings don't bend. What's going on? See, but the weight of the light doesn't make these strings go upwards, like so. You can definitely see, like, it does look like it's genuinely, like, flying, though, if, like... 
if it's from like a distance away then you can like see that it's flying but obviously these strings kind of give it away. I mean it, it has the best intentions I guess but it's just not the best thing ever. Usually if you lay the match down and then like the weight of the thing will just keep the strings down so it doesn't work. I'm very disappointed in that. So this product is a bust, I'm just saying. Alrighty, the next one is the magic drawer. So you're supposed to find a way to make something come out of a drawer like magic. Very interesting. Alrighty, so number one says hold a magic drawer so the magic experience logo faces the spectators and pull to open the drawer. You must use the left hand to open the drawer. So what I'm doing, so basically you're supposed to hold the magic drawer so the magic experience logo faces the spectators. So here we go. And then you place the cockroach for another object into the tray. So we got this cockroach. <laughs> And then you're supposed to put it into the tray like so. And then you push the closed magic drawer. So now you see it. Now you still do. <laughs> that, was, that was like such a failed attempt to try to do the now you see it, now, now you don't thing, and it failed miserably. Now you see it. Um, now you sort of see it. <laughs> Why won't this thing go in? Okay, there we go. Now turn the magic drawer towards you so that the magic experience logo faces you. So, ta da! Pull to open the magic drawer while the logo is still facing you. Alrighty, you've done that. And then you turn the drawer so you the spectators can see that the magic drawer is now empty. Ta da, guys! Look, it's empty. Where is my cockroach? My cockroach is gone. Now you push the closed magic drawer once again. And then you pull to open the magic drawer and the cockroach reappears again. Oh my god! I did not expect that to work at all. Like this is actually quite a good magic trick thing if you just want to entertain your kids or whatever. Wait, I did not expect it to stay fully open because here's how it works. So usually like, I've got this like, little drawer here, a drawer within a drawer. And I didn't expect this to sort of work. So this is actually quite a good thing considering I didn't expect it to work. All right, the last one now, the ghastly guillotine. I am not looking forward to this at all because essentially what it looks like in the picture is that like, you're supposed to like, Play your finger through there and it's supposed to cut through you or cut through you because it's not exactly going to cut through you but so yeah let's try this. Alrighty so the next thing is the ghastly guillotine as you can see from here. Alrighty so the next so the first thing is the successful guillotine is shown placing a small pretzel stick or small dry piece of spaghetti into a small hole at the bottom well I've already done that so as you can see I've got one of the like scented sticks things and place it in the middle there so that should be good. Alright so I'll like place on the floor because that's what it's supposed to be so you're gonna get this like nice angle of me so yeah you're lucky today. And it says ask one of your spectators to put, the, put a finger into the big hole while you hold the guillotine. So the only spectator here right now is myself and I so I'm gonna put my finger through the hole. Number three, push down the handle swiftly with your other hand. You may want to hold the guillotine at the bottom for stability. Alrighty, so. And then, you're supposed to push this thing down and it's supposed to cut this bottom bit here. So, this is what is going to happen. Ready? Three, two, one. Has it cut it? No, I don't think it has, but I will say this I don't think it's supposed to put like a scented stick. On here, you're supposed to put something that's easily breakable. So, so the idea was you're supposed to put this finger down here, then use this to slice it down. And that's supposed to break in two, while the finger stays unharmed. So that would, that would have been actually quite a good product if I chose like spaghetti or something or easily breakable, because these sticks you can't easily break. So that's sort of my fault on my half. So I'm not going to give this product a bad rating, but so I'd probably say this product's actually quite good for like for, for, for entertainment or whatever. Alrighty, so these products were actually quite good to be honest. I actually kind of like these products. They're not the best magic tricks, obviously, but they're good for like, I don't know, maybe a family magic trick night or something, I don't know. But yeah, I think these were actually quite good for what the purpose is. It's good for the price because you pay for what you get because these were like 99p, so they're actually quite good for like ent entertainment or something. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with these magic trick product things. Alright y'all, so I hope you like this video, video guys. If you like this video, leave a like, share, subscribe, share, subscribe, share, subscribe, share, subscribe. Don't forget to also comment out which video is until next time. And as well as guys, I've been Jay's Bold. You've been awesome. I'll see you guys next video. Good. Bye.